This is the UK DEFCON warning system. This emergency update reports the current radiological threat from the Fukushima nuclear power plant. There is no current threat of radiation contaminants reaching any area around the world such as the UK, except for the local area around the power plant. Radiation levels are still rising and is recommend you keep tuned to local radio stations and authorities for immediate updates. Current radiation levels around the Fukushima and Okuma areas at 12.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, March 12, 2011 stands at 20 times more than the normal rate, wind direction is to the north of the plant. I repeat, current radiation levels around the Fukushima and Okuma areas at 12.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, March 12, 2011 stands at 20 times more than the normal rate, wind direction is to the north of the plant. On to the report. There is a risk of a second explosion at the quake hit Fukushima power station, Japanese officials have said. However, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Adano said the facility could withstand the impact and the nuclear reactor itself would not be damaged. Technicians are battling to cool reactor 3 following a blast at the building housing reactor 1 on Saturday. Meanwhile, police have warned that the death toll in Sunmi hit Miyajai Prefecture alone could exceed 10,000. Miyajai includes the port of Minamis and Raikou which was mostly swept away by the Tsunmi. The BBC's Rachel Harvey, outside Minamis and Raikou, says roads to the town are blocked and emergency workers are finding bodies amid piles of debris. Officials previously said that more than 2,000 people died or were missing following Friday's earthquake and Tsunmi. Millions remain without electricity and authorities are stepping up relief efforts as the scale of the tragedy becomes clearer. Officials announced that the number of troops helping with rescue work in the region would be doubled to 100,000. The Japanese government has sought to play down fears of a radiation leak at the Fukushima plant. But the plant's operators, Tokyo Electric Power, TEPCO, said radiation levels around the plant had now risen above permissible limits. About 170,000 people have been evacuated from the area near the plant. The BBC's Chris Hogg in Tokyo says a meltdown at Reactor 3 would be potentially more serious than at the other reactors, because it is fueled by plutonium and uranium, unlike the other units which carry only uranium. Experts say as long as authorities can keep fuel rods in the core covered with water, they should be able to avoid a major disaster. Emergency workers were pumping into water to cool the rods, but one report suggested the tops of the rods had briefly been exposed. Technicians opened valves at Reactor 3, allowing small amounts of radioactive vapor to escape in a bid to reduce the pressure in the unit. They performed a similar operation on the first reactor, hours before the explosion that wrecked the building it was housed in. The Japanese government doubled the size of the evacuation zone around Fukushima 1 to 20 kilometers, 12.4 miles, after the blast. Remember, we are not the officials so please do not follow our actions. We are just here to give current affairs and we use our own system to evaluate current actions across the world. For this special report, we will update you as soon as possible if there are any changes in the nature of the malfunctions of the power plant reactors. Updates in radiation levels will also be reported if necessary. Remember to remain calm and follow instructions by the local authorities. Please comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your time.